Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. If you were a movie star, would you go watch your own movie? Like, I mean. Not, at the premiere, I mean. I mean, just oh. like, go buy a ticket on a random Friday night and go watch a movie. I might, I might do it like, when no one's around. Like, I don't wanna be seen, right? Well, in this case, it's very uh, interesting because uh, this movie star, this is one of the biggest Asian movie stars in the world, Chao yes. Yang. Okay, first of all, Chao Yang Fat. Can I tell you a funny story? <laughs> when, when, when his, he, when he made his first uh, debut in the U.S. I remember this. It yeah. was the replacement killers. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so I remember like uh, I was sitting in the Midwestern movie theater, mm -hmm. and I was watching The Wedding Singer. Okay. Right? And this preview showed up. Okay. Uh, replacement killers, and when they said his name, yeah, starring Chow Young Fat, everyone in the theater started laughing. No way. Yeah. Because at that time they didn't know who he was. They know who he was. They just thought his name was funny. He's like Fat. Okay. <laughs> Did you know? Hit him before. Of course, you knew him before. God of Gamblers. Okay, one of the most popular movie series in Asia, in China, yeah. in Hong Kong, whatever. So I'm one of those guys that laughed because I grew up here. You laughed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I do. I didn't know who he so was. So they were like Chow Yun Fat. Yeah, you're like. <laughs> yeah, because I. I mean, how old were you? You, you were in high school. I was, I was in. Uh, yeah, I was in high school. Yeah, so I was, I was probably either right beginning high school, right? Yeah. I I, I was like, who is this guy, Chow Yun Fat? So his first movies I ever watched were. American movies, replacement yeah. killers. Replacement. Yep. And I, and I didn't know that he was this huge star. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know Jackie Chan was a huge star. I didn't know. Uh, well, at Jen the time, Lee Jackie was, Chan was already in. Yeah, I, I didn't know Bronx, that either. Whatever. Um, yeah. So, but at the time, probably the best uh, known Asian movie star was Bruce Lee. Oh, who was, who yeah. Was already deceased, that, right? Right. Right. So, so anyway, um, Chan Fat has a very. Uh, Good reputation in in China. Oh yeah, definitely. he's kind of like the Asian Tom Hanks, I would say. Okay, I will okay. compare him to that. I know that I know that people revere him, and yeah. they don't often. Uh, they always put him in a positive light. Right. I hear that he's very humble. Right. I don't know much else about him. So that's yeah, exactly. He's very humble. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very democratic. Okay. He's, he doesn't sell out. That's his reputation. Like okay. when the umbrella movement was happening, you know, yeah. when Jackie Chan usually is like, yeah, hey, Chinese people are dumb, whatever. Um, but yeah, he's usually the one who's like, well, if my movie gets blocked in China, then I'll make less money. I don't care. Okay. So he's kind of like the. He's to me, he's kind of the opposite of Jackie Chan. Yeah. Because Jackie Chan always gets put in the negative light because they, I, I don't I mean, I don't know if this is true, but people, what I hear is like, um, he's always supporting. He sells out. He That's sells basically out, what, yeah. what people are saying. Whether or not he actually believes those things, he always kind of like sides on the part, on, right. on, on that side, right? Because he gets a lot of money from Beijing and right. he has a close relationship with that and Chao in fact doesn't. Right. So in this case, he went to see a movie with his wife. He's just like, he's just chilling. He's like, has a hat on. I mean, he's not like he's trying to be too incognito, right? He doesn't right. have eyeglasses, whatever. No, no, no. So he just like shows I, up. I mean, he's like in line to see his own movie. Yeah, it's his I own. Mean, movie. Maybe he missed the premiere. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, he had. Well, maybe. Well, here's the thing. Maybe he also went to the premiere and he likes his movie so much that he also goes to see it. Yeah. He, I mean, you don't know why people do things, right? He definitely went to the I mean, But it's cool. Yeah. I don't think I ever heard of a news. I mean, it probably has happened. I just mm -hmm. don't know. Right. Of a movie star kind of like like Tom Cruise, like, you know, when uh, when Day After Tomorrow comes right. out. Like, you know, a week later, he's like, shows up. He's just like, just trying to get a ticket to my movie. Yeah. Well, we never, we never hear it because in America, stars, they do not want to be seen. Right. Like, they will do anything possible to not be seen. They'll have fake names when they book at restaurants. You know they'll like they'll look at if the paparazzi is around. They yeah. just don't want to be seen. Right. So chances are, if if like a U.S. star went to see their own movie, we don't know about it because they probably wore like right. a costume or something. Well, yeah, but in this case, like he was very yeah. You know, he he took pictures with yeah. fans. He really signed all the He was really nice. He's just like, yo, I know YouTubers who are not this nice. Like I personally know of YouTubers who are not this nice. You know more than oh my one God. YouTuber. Right, can, I, can I retell my story again? You know, yeah, yo. Can I, I mean, retell my IKEA story again? We, we don't have to put names in there. I mean, literally, I told the story before. I don't know what yeah. channel I told it on. This, this, I was, uh, yeah. I was, I was. This was about a year, a year, two yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm standing in line at IKEA in New York, and oh, there's a hint. It's a yeah. New York YouTuber, <laughs> and I'm in line, and this, yeah. this. Person yeah. is right behind me standing in line, yeah. and I'm like, oh hey, yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Can I, can I get a picture with you? Yeah. He's like, not right now, man. Yeah. I'm like, I see you're busy standing <laughs> in line with, with me in me IKEA. In IKEA. No one yeah. else recognizes. I, I see you're distracted. Or her. You got a lot on your plate right now. The standing in line thing, it's, uh, it takes a lot out of you. Yo, and, and then that person wasn't as big now. 
that person wasn't as big when you saw him too. Or but her, he was or still her. pretty big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but not as big as he is now. Yeah, I'm just saying, right. even at that time, it's yeah. almost like, come on, man, come right. on. Like, you're, so, you, you're not even. Uh, th this just kind of solidifies for me. Like, I mean, you can't really. Honestly, it's hard to fake being genuine like that. Yeah. You know, like a lot of. So you can see in these pictures, he's like selfie. He's really tall, oh, too. Yeah. My goodness. And and, and I, I think the years over the years, it's treated him well. He looks yeah. good. He still looks like, oh, you know, that he. Similar to what he I looked think like so. a few years one ago. Of my, one of my favorite movie stars, God of Gamblers, again, one of my favorite series. Yeah. And tell us your stories of celebrities who I who were either really nice to you or really standoffish, including YouTubers. Let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Later. See ya.